Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome back to another Pipedrive training video. In this video, I want to talk about how you can connect Pipedrive to an email marketing tool like MailChimp or ActiveCampaign, which is really useful if you have a longer sales cycle and you need to nurture your leads uh, over the long term. And so maybe you want to add them to a newsletter list or put them into some kind of drip sequence. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways that you can do that. Now, if you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you need some help with Pipedrive setting up, optimizing your account, training your team, or automating your sales process like I'm doing, like I'm showing you in this video, then check out the link in the description below to learn more about my Pipedrive consulting options. So how do we do this? How do we create this sync? How do we tie Pipedrive and MailChimp together in a really seamless way? Now, one option is that Pipedrive does actually have built in a native integration. So here I am, I'm in the tools and apps setting of uh, in, in Pipedrive, and you can see I've connected my MailChimp account. Uh, now, what that means is I can go to my contacts and I could go to all my contacts or I could go to a filtered view like this. I'm just looking at anyone with a customer label. And then if I click on the menu up here, I can then export this list to MailChimp and I can choose my newsletter and I can now send that group of people into MailChimp. This is a pretty simple, pretty straightforward um, integration. It's really not that powerful because it's really just a one-time, one-way sync. So I'm just taking this list of people, moving them over to MailChimp, uh, and that's kind of it. If I want to have a sync set up that's more ongoing, so any new contacts coming in, maybe I want to sync them across, and any data uh, in MailChimp, uh, useful data about how my leads are engaging with my emails, it'd be really nice to see some of that in Pipedrive. So I, with the clients that I work with, I generally don't ever recommend or don't ever set up this native integration just because I find it's it's a bit basic, it's a bit, it's a bit too simple really. I mean, for simple, if you just want to send like a one-time newsletter and that's it, great, but most of the people I work with want to do um, something a bit uh, more fancy. So two options I'm going to talk about. Firstly, we could use a tool like Zapier. Uh, Zapier is an automation tool that connects different services together. And here's an example of a pretty simple zap that I have created, uh, and it works on a trigger action system. So here I've got a trigger set up where I have Pipedrive is my trigger app, and my trigger event, event is when a deal matches a specific filter. And the filter I've selected here is all lost deals. So I have in my account a filter that shows any deal that's lost. Any deal that then matches that filter is going to trigger this automation. And I could have chosen a different trigger. I could do any deals that I win could trigger this. Any um, hot deals, you know, any number of filters I've got set up here could trigger this automation. I'm, I'm doing this to say if I lose a deal, I want to put that contact into my newsletter list. So that's my trigger. Then I have a uh, formatter step here. This is a little bit technical, but basically what this step is doing is it's looking at some of the custom values in my account. So I have this field called um, tags. And so you can see here I've got like VIP, Christmas card list, retainer clients. And based on the tags that I've applied to this contact, I want to put people into a specific group or tag in MailChimp. So I've basically mapped the ID for that tag in Pipedrive to the corresponding group in uh, MailChimp. So that's what that little step is doing. You don't have to do that. That's just sort of something I set up for this particular automation. And then finally, we have the action step, which is where I've said, right, in MailChimp, add or update the subscriber. And I'm then taking the information from Pipedrive and passing that along to MailChimp. So in this case, I've said, right, put the subscriber into the Paul Miners newsletter, use the email address from the contact person, and I think I've got a first name in here as well. Oh no, first name, I could put that in here. You know, there we go. I'll just put in the name for now. And so that's it. That's a really simple example of a zap that you could build to automatically sync contacts from Pipedrive over to MailChimp. The advantage this has over the native built-in integration that I showed you is that this is running all the time. So rather than just doing it once, um, this is just running in the background and any deal that matches that filter that I selected will sync over to MailChimp. So that's great. But this is only again a one-way sync. If I wanted to then sync maybe MailChimp contacts back over to Pipedrive, for example, people signing up to my newsletter and put them back into Pipedrive, I would have to set up a different zap. So I could do that, 
Or what I want to show you is a tool that I recommend to a lot of my clients, which is OutFunnel. Uh, in fact, OutFunnel is probably one of the tools I have recommended most to clients of mine that, that use Pipedrive because of uh, some of the ways that it can really help you take Pipedrive to that next level. So the first way that we can use it is uh, very similar to what I just did there with Zapier. <clears throat> I can create an automation where I can sync contacts from Pipedrive to MailChimp. So how I'll do that is um, I'm using the app connector section of OutFunnel here, and I'm going to create a connection between Pipedrive and MailChimp. Now you can see there's other apps that this supports as well. Um, so there's Active Campaign, um, Contact Form 7, HubSpot. Um, there's a number of other apps that are currently in the process of being integrated as well. And so this is a really nice tool that really connects with a suite of apps um, depending on what it is that you want to sync with. So let's create that connection. Similar to what I did there with Zapier, I'm going to set up a filter where any, um, let's say, let's do any high value clients I want to put onto Paul Miner's newsletter. And I could customize this, I could add a new rule as well. Maybe I want high value clients or VIP clients, let's do that as well. And I could even sync to multiple newsletters, maybe my software partners go to my consulting newsletter. So I can sync different filters or different groups of people um, to different lists in MailChimp. And rather than having to set up multiple zaps like I would if I was using Zapier, I can do this all in one step in OutFunnel, which is really nice. Then I can map my fields. So I can tell OutFunnel, take the first name field <clears throat> and map it to MailChimp's first name. Uh, take the email field, map that to uh, email, and basically any of the custom fields that I have in Pipedrive. So I've got things like labels, job titles, um, company name, things like that. I could map to um, specific fields in MailChimp if I want those to be used in my MailChimp um, account for some reason. So I can do all my field mapping in here. So let's continue to the next step. So we've now synced the contacts. On this next page, I can now record engagements and how I want that to be tracked back into Pipedrive. So what I can do here is I can say, right, for my Paul Miner's newsletter, when an email is sent to somebody on that list and they, are, they exist as a contact in Pipedrive, I want to create an activity here in my Pipedrive account. And I, I would actually recommend doing that so that from a reporting standpoint, you can build reports in Pipedrive that show the number of newsletters that you've sent per month. And that would be fully automated. There's nothing you need to do once this is set up to make that work. Just as you continue to send emails through MailChimp or ActiveCampaign, they would automatically get recorded in Pipedrive. I could choose to create a note if I want as well, but I actually think an activity would be the better way to go for the, for the reporting purposes. I can track email opens and clicks, uh, even email bounces and unsubscribes. I probably would do the bounces and unsubscribes more as notes rather than activities, but then um, I would do activities for these other ones so that, yeah, again, at the end of the month, I could see how many emails were sent, how many emails were opened, and how many links were clicked. And I could do all of that reporting natively inside Pipedrive with no additional sync or exporting or importing required. And so that's it. I can click activate and now my sync is ready to go. It's going to do its initial sync and then it's just going to run every four hours. Now I wanted to show you a couple of other features of OutFunnel that really help you to take Pipedrive to that next level. Um, firstly is if you don't want to use a tool like MailChimp or you don't already have an email marketing tool, you can use OutFunnel's built-in sequences and single email campaigns. So rather than having to sign up for a whole new email marketing system like ActiveCampaign or MailChimp, if you just want to send out pretty simple newsletters or send a, set up a drip sequence, you could actually build that here inside OutFunnel and, uh, and just save on cost and having to set up multiple tools. Another really useful feature that I often draw people's attention to is the lead scoring functionality. So now that I have the MailChimp sync set up, when somebody opens an email or clicks a link in an email, or if I have OutFunnel's web tracking set up, that's another feature, is if I track visitors to the website, so once somebody clicks a link in the newsletter, they go and they browse my website, when any of those types of interactions occur, I can then um, increment a lead score on a contact. So in this case, I've said a page view would give a score of 10, an email open would be a score of one, and an email click would be a score of three. 
And I can say if I want the points to expire, you know, because if somebody views the site today, that is more important than somebody who viewed it a month ago. So somebody that viewed it a month ago, maybe those points expire, you know, in 30 days. And so I can lead score my, my contacts in MailChimp. And you can see here, this is recorded in a lead score field in my CRM. So what I could then do, if I have a, if I've got my lead score in here, I could then filter my contacts and say, right, show me anyone with a score greater than, let's say 30 or 50. And Pipedrive is then gonna help me to narrow down my search and show me here are the leads that are viewing my website, engaging and opening and clicking my emails. So again, that is the kind of thing you could, you could do with uh, Zapier, but it takes a lot of extra work to set up. And I haven't found a tool as simple or as easy to use as OutFunnel for doing this kind of sync, um, engagement tracking or lead scoring between Pipedrive and MailChimp or even Active Campaign for that matter. And so that is a little look at OutFunnel. Like I said, if you're a Pipedrive user, if you're wanting to be a bit more creative, a bit smarter with how you nurture your long-term uh, leads, and you want to use a tool like MailChimp, Active Campaign, or even OutFunnel's built-in email marketing tools, then there is no tool that I've recommended more to Pipedrive users than OutFunnel. Um, very, very useful tool for really taking Pipedrive to that next level. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.